Jože Črtelič uh, from uh, the Novo Mesto. This is just a, a man who is, I find it totally impossible that he would not have pictures uh, of him anywhere on the internet. This is what I find the most bizarre. And it is exactly what his son Boyan has stated in the case is going to be. At least you won't see his picture when you would go to the Google and you would click here his name or anything. You would not get any picture from Joža Črtalić. Any picture whatsoever. There were only two instances, two profiles that uh, Facebook profiles is what his son Boyan Črtalić have stated me, you will be capable to use uh, if you will ever search for his picture. And Boyan Chertelich stated me, will do such a stuff just because I, I could not use his father's picture when describing crimes against humanity, which his family committed against me. Uh, mostly founder Joža Črtelić, obviously, who brought in the world also his son Bojan Črtelić, the man that you see right here, with the glasses right on the right side, uh, interacting here with a little girl. So, um, no such thing like a Joža Črtelić that you would go under the photos. It could be under the articles. You know, it could be under the articles that you would find one, uh, but no such thing that, that uh, it would be anywhere that, you know, maybe under these articles here. The thing is, I do not stalk people online. I don't care about what people do, what photos do they have, what is it. And so that, oh, finally, is John. 4, 2024 when I do this article. Can you imagine? Um, I've never paid any attention to this before. I didn't want to even see them really in real life. But as my case progressed, and there are additional claims that I make, they become also part of a broader investigation. They are the reason for extermination procedure, genocide. I don't think anybody right now, I ask myself, you know, you didn't hear me uh, for a little bit. And I ask myself, whether it's unfortunate, no, genocide is genocide. The genocide doesn't peak. Genocides are present, have the same effect, same consequences on people, regardless of their color, race, origins. Uh, not all of them, but uh, nobody is exempt from what is known as a genocide. Nobody is, there is nobody that, uh, what I'm trying to say is no, there's against whomever genocide took place. Genocide did not ask him whether he can take place or not. People that were subjected to genocide never ever had any choice. They didn't have a choice to... Um, People that were subjected to the genocide never ever had any choice. We always read about there might have been some people who were given a choice. I don't believe so. I think that whatever is written something about genocide, it's only written for those who engaged in genocide against a particular group of people, certain people to cover their ass, basically. To say, well, they were given choice. They were given, you know, choice. Uh, beside that, in uh,
Yeah, but it's not it's not a protection to favor. Okay, not even to favor, but not to protect the people who are subjected to genocide. In favor. No, it's not in favor. I don't like using the favor word when it comes to genocide, when it comes to extermination procedure. I do not like that. I don't like, like to associate with, with uh, any kind of word. Zashtiety uh, means to protect in a certain way. But this is very, very uh, specific. It's not to favor, it's not to protect. Very difficult word. I don't actually find this word. For the people that were subjected to genocide procedure, for the people who have undergone extermination procedure, you should never ever accept from those that engage in genocide extermination procedure against you, against your parents, against whatever, your, your people. You should never ever accept them in, uh, you know, in any light that would uh, justify such practice in absolutely any way. You should never accept it as a, uh, as a, as a form of, uh, as they are try always they are trying to portray, always uh, they try to portray as a form of justice. You know, yeah, well, they did not accept, they did not accept our offer, so we just had to kill them, basically. Or we just killed them. This is not a logic. It should not be acceptable. Uh, nobody that performs genocide against anyone, and this is what I blame Wikipedia. This is what I blame all the modern literature, and I blame hate laws for it. Because they allow to be written down uh, in return for not accepting whatever and so whatever. Uh, it was a genocide procedure that took place. Well, fuck this. Genocide is just genocide. Extermination is just extermination procedure. Uh, those who committed one should not be given any kind of special privilege to explain to... Uh, rationalize their mindlessness because this is a mindlessness i know it i know what genocide is i know i know what genocide is from the mind of people who do it these are pathological liars people who have no conscience people that will just kill and go home watch tv People that would just go out there, kill families, and you will be surprised. And will joke the very same the very next day, right at the table, with other people. We're sitting with other people about it, make fun out of it. The people that will run over somebody. And with that same day, we'll be laughing about it at home, around his own people, and even friends, and even in front of whoever they were going to try to make point out of it, which they believe is going to be beneficial to them. They, these people have no conscience whatsoever. It's not about giving someone doubt or something, but it's about in own interests if you have endured genocide you should definitely appreciate yourself you should you should value yourself you should honor yourself you should not allow to become a casualty of people like this in absolutely any way in, including the language that is being used in a literature justifying even it doesn't matter how uh it's a mindless act. It's a mindless act. I know. 
I know about the genocide, absolutely everything that pertains to genocide. Even the, I'm thinking about the state of mind I was thrown into so they could perform genocide. And waging between the difference which they enforced in MK Ultra, they enforced several stages, state of mind stages. The MK Ultra, the chaotic stage, mindless stage was created through the terror, death threats, and merciless torture, which would disallow sleep of any kind. You would barely stand up on your feet, and then you would be subjected to people like this already in a completely mind that would not, that would only rather respond attacks. Chaos, completely chaotic, insane. And then you had that other type of mental state under MKUltra which they exercise, like giving a false sense of security. And there was another one for which you did not know what the fuck went on, whether they want to give you, hurt you, harm you, or help you. And another one, a total uncertainty. Different kind again. When in real life, we only have one state of mind. In real life, we should only have one state of mind. That's why MK Ultra is so dangerous, because they create so many different states of mind during MK Ultra. And these states of mind under MK Ultra, uh, they try to surface them in real life. They try to compel them to surface in real life. And that's what they refer to then afterwards as all sorts of mental illnesses, such as bipolar and uh, uh, multiple personality and, uh, you know, all kinds of issues they invented over the course of time. It really is abuse that also allows, allowed me personally, I don't know if it allows everybody, but to me personally, it allowed me to analyze the people who do this stuff to people. What kind of people these people are? What is it? What is in it for them? What is in what about their mental state? What is their why would they do this? Why this kind of stuff? Why would they do? You know, it's called uh, ethnic cleansing, it's just called extermination, it's called genocide. That's all there is to it. That's what it comes to. There is no special kind of explanation for it. It's just the ordinary, what I stated, and it's always been present, it's always been people like this. They do it because they can. They do it because it's lucrative for them. They do it because they are rewarded for it. They benefit from within. And they do it because they are protected, because they are entitled to, to benefit from within, because they have police behind, because they have, in my case, they have absolutely everything that Slovenia had to offer someone in respect to his basic rights, from health care, from Medicare, which they abused even for torture purposes, not only for psychiatry, they directly involved, uh, uh, get themselves involved in a torture, a general hospital novel master, they tortured in every department, they tortured at dentists, they tortured at private clinics, they, they tortured at Ljubljana, UKC Center, University Clinic, University Center in Ljubljana, they tortured in Maribor, in hospital, they tortured in Celia, they tortured everywhere, wherever they could, they, they they were trying they were doing their best to make their impression. It's oftentimes that it's impressions enough that kill people 
people's desire to move on to fight back. In my case, that have proven was not the case as much as they tried. They had police. They had fire rescue to support them. Workers in the stores. They had Kirka Pharmaceutical, 5,000 employees next door. And they had all other companies with directors associated with this crime to give these people a support for extermination for the Germans. That's why they do it. They do it because they feel they are safe, because they can. Yup, no picture whatsoever on the internet. The only picture, this is really, really, really not impressive. And I'm not going to click on one of these articles because I don't want to see these people elsewhere than on the court. Just a few days when I started this, I wasn't sure even how to see it because it appeared to me there was a difference between an individual that I demonstrated him and his sister, not his older sister. His older sister appeared to me it was uh, completely indifferent from, uh, from the brother. But younger sister Moitza, to me that looked very different till a few days ago, when in fact was the worst. She had uh, so many problems with it. Uh, that it's actually quite unbelievable that uh, I did not understood what the fuck went on with these people at all. She had so many problems with it that uh, both of them, Boyan and, uh, and Moitza, both had so many problems for what the stuff they did. So that Boyan had his son Yernay uh, Asking me all the time, but you are not going to retaliate, but you are not going to revenge, but you, you are not, but you are good, you are good with us, you are good this, you are good that. So these are already new generations of these kids. Oof. The same thing was with her son. They weren't sure. I had a son asking me if I want to hurt his mama and stuff like this, uh, if I want to hurt her. He didn't say it was his mom. It wouldn't give any kind of clue. So this is disgraceful, this whole thing. They try to keep it as, as futile, as, uh, as non-existing as much as possible, and just bulge with their eyes in you and don't know what the fuck to do to get rid of you, basically. Desperate. Coming face to face, literally, with the killers for like 50 years. Forty-eight for real, not fifty. Find this sad and pathetic, sad and pathetic people. So this this was the opportunity. This was the opportunity. How sad it is, I must note, when he stated me, well, eh, you're mentally ill. And I don't even know why it was it that he wanted still to see me. Look, this was in 2010, you know. I remember that police investigators from Nova Mesto would deliver me to him. And he was playing with his grandson and, uh, or whatever, Theo Tomczyk, uh, asking idiotic questions, if I know where the fuck I am and so on, how the fuck can I know? I mean... He knew that I cannot know because I didn't associate with them at all. I did not associate with these people at all. And I left to America when I was 23 years old. That was in 95. This year is in 2010. Like, totally delusional. Like, he wouldn't understand where the fuck I was.
November 22nd, 2010. I think this is already right after I returned probably from Sweden, where I filed, actually Norway, where I filed, actually Sweden, where I filed, wanted to file for political asylum. In Norway, I did. They delivered me, I'm sure, here from Slovenia, which you see right there. And it wasn't the first time that he would be here with this grandson, obviously, in in his uh, whatever this is. Um, he was playing with him, having the police deliver me. Maybe this is the point, because November the 22nd, 2010, I don't know where I was. Maybe in November 2000 and. Uh, 2010, 22nd November, maybe I was still in Sweden, I don't know, maybe I was still in Karlstad. Who the hell knows? Uh, and because, why? Because in a hostel they make you disappear. And before the Sweden where I arrived, I was at a hostel in Bergen, in Norway, in Oslo, in Norway, in Göteborg, in Sweden, when I returned from Norway, I was again in Göteborg, in hostel. So, I don't know, maybe he was just trying to make a point. The thing is, making statements is very dangerous around people like this. It's the stuff they, the police alone engineered. So... It doesn't hurt to acknowledge somebody whom you have ruined life as mentally ill. So just so you get the feedback. He is late. He died. He passed away. He passed away. You know, he passed away. That's how they die, that's how they grow, that's how they, they come, and that's how they go. They come and they go like a swines, like a svinja. Kot svinje pridejo in grejo kot prašiči. They come, they act like a swines, like a pigs, Without absolutely any conscience, any remorse, anything whatsoever. And then they depart also like a swines, like a pigs, to whatever the fuck they go. They only know. Because they have no conscience. Because the same day they kill somebody. The same day they ran over somebody. The same day they kill entire family. They go home, they turn the TV, they watch TV like nothing ever happened. It's just the next day. Sit at the table, laugh, joke. Go whatever place, do whatever they do to feel to make them feel good about themselves, like as swines. And so it goes. This is the way it is. They come from nowhere and they go to nowhere. If there is hell, this guy is burning himself. If there is such thing as hell. This guy is a fucking effigy in flames, I tell you that, for the stuff he did. That's why uh,
I got across few that regret it. Even this happened to me. And again, there were some that just uh, ate themselves in that last moment, including Josip Brostito, who appeared to me, he totally fucking eat himself in the last moment, knowing that he did something terrible, knowing that he was doing something terrible, knowing that he was wrong. And knowing that he cannot apologize, that he cannot rationalize, knowing that he is departing to some place and he will never ever have a chance to correct his mistake, regardless. Uh, the place he had it is their only problem because they don't know where the fuck they go. That's what worries them, where they don't know where the fuck they go because this kind of people are used to having everything laid down in front of them. It's always, they've always been taken care of. They only have to make, move their fingers to be taken care of. And so their only problem is when they don't know where the fuck they go, what's waiting at them next. That's their problem. And if they can't correct the problem, they hate you even more. They curse you even more. That's what I call they eat themselves into the grave, literally. Next to the photo, this one here. The only photo I would ever get is what his son stated to me. It would be this photo here that you see under this profile here. And this will be that this will be the only photo I would ever get. No other photo whatsoever. At this it, it no other photo. Uh, it's hard to believe that his son uh, <laughs> it's kind of actually honestly when I think about it it's hilarious it's funny it's truly truly is funny uh, never thought that there would be just so much hatred in them that they would, they would be so eaten inside from within, that they would hate so much. Hate, 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 and hate. Live for the hatred. It gets kind of funny, actually. No. The only photo that I would get would be this one here. That this would be the only photo I would ever get. And why would that be if I again repeat the words from his son, Boyan Chertalich? Well, it would be like this, because I didn't deserve to get the photo from his father because I would reveal and he didn't say because I would reveal his involvement or their family involvement against me but he was very politically correct they never say like they always say because you talk bad about him, you know, because you don't, you talk bad about him and, and this and that and so on, because you talk bad, you know, because you talk bad. So, you know, I was a bad man. And uh, this year, this was a good man. And he was a good man because he always had a paycheck in his hands for his workers. And that's what makes the difference in Slovenia between good men and the bad men. And it doesn't matter what the good man does to the bad man.
January 6, 2010. Sretan Badniak it says here. And below you have Veliki Pozdrav, Srečni Praznici. Belgrade, Serbia. Where they also would take me to portray whatever story they wanted to portray to the world. There appears to be yet another Moica Chertalic. It's a sad story because she was married. Maybe she still gets together with her ex-husband. But she doesn't dare to pose next to him anymore. She doesn't dare like pose next to anyone anymore. It's like a, some sort of sickness. Maria Putina, Varuantsova and the other one and all these daughters of the politicians suffer from. They sometimes have children on the side which they don't even allow the public to find out about. That's even better about these politicians, about elites, fear for their offsprings so much that public would get their hands on them that they keep them in secrecy, like a total secrecy, away from public eye. Pathetic. Preferably they pose by themselves, because I guess these are the type of times when it just how it works, you know? For the good people, it works to be like this. I guess they are like in a less self denial. Maybe MK Ultra is, you know, maybe maybe MK Ultra is a, a syndrome of post syndrome of people who somehow influential people who somehow live in a partial uh, self denial. Yeah, it's got to be, because otherwise, probably they wouldn't do it. Or maybe is it that they do this just for the business connections? I don't know. But it's a sad one. Even for this picture, he stated to me. He got very serious, and he said to me, you're mentally ill. You're mentally ill. The girl that you have seen... They would take me to Belgrade and ask her if I like her and had her romance with me and so on. Uh, insist to me that I should not talk about against Belgrade, that I should not write about Belgrade, that I should never mention Belgrade and this and that. Uh, uh, this shit is hilarious. He was so mentally ill with his son, Boyan, that so delusional, you know, that he was sure that if he can bring me to the Belgrade and show some pussy over there, uh, that, I don't know, that uh, I would just keep silent about it, that it would become, a, a dream would become like more uh, realistic than a reality or something like that. I don't know how the fuck I would explain this otherwise definitely goes into the category of uh, you know I don't know serial killers or something like that weirdo